Okay guys, so this is how you can avoid autism meltdowns. Super interesting, highly impactful. Let's get into the video right now. Guys, welcome back to the Aspie World. My name is Dan and I have autism and I make weekly videos all about this stuff. So if you're new around here and you wanna learn more, remember to hit the subscribe button by clicking the notification bell down below here on YouTube. If you're watching on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, be sure to follow this page for daily videos. Oh yes. Guys, what's going on? Welcome back. It's a, it's a good one and it's a very needed one. So I have three, well, I actually have four tips. I have a bonus one. So if you watch right to the end, you'll see my bonus tip. But I have uh, three to four major tips that are going to help you in helping uh, overcome and, and avoiding meltdowns. So one of the things happens is when an autistic person starts having a meltdown or, or is about to melt down, you kind of have to do damage control after. But if you can help prevent it happening, you kind of win like major because you 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 override the stress that would come after the meltdown and the recovery time from that. So, super important to try and avoid a meltdown rather than trying to fix it after it happened. So, this is the purpose of this video. Guys, so the first one I'm gonna talk about here is the backup plan. Now, I can't stress how important this is, okay? Now, I make three plans. When I'm doing anything for any event, say it's I'm gonna to go to an event in um, my local city and I'm gonna pick up a sandwich, right? I then make a backup plan B and a backup plan C for if something happens, like if I can't get there, if I'm delayed, if there's no sandwiches, like what am I gonna do? So I make three plans that are fail safe so that if the first one fails, then the second one will pick up and if the second one fails then the third one will definitely pick up. I've never had a situation where all three fail at any one time, you know, uh, together. So it's definitely a fail safe. This is a solid routine. But what happens is you prepare yourself that if number one goes down, then number two, or you know, if A goes down, then B can take over. If B goes down, C can take over. And you've already prepped yourself and you're prepared and you're ready for it. Because one of the biggest things for meltdowns is a bump in the road, a change in routine or something unexpected just hitting you right in the face and you don't know what to do about it. You know, years ago, um, I, I went to a sandwich shop um, and I wanted to get a certain type of bread with my partner for a sandwich and we got there and they didn't have the bread and I freaked out I didn't know what to do and it was really close to a meltdown because then I started panicking and then you know it started getting kind of like super agitated because I didn't know what to do at the moment in time but if I'd have planned would you know oh, okay I'll, I had there's three types of bread that I like within the shop then it's okay option number one's gone you got option number two no you got option three yeah so you know I would have had three options and we use this plan moving forward and it absolutely worked a treat, I highly recommend using it. So the backup plans are absolutely amazing. I have so much good feedback when I'm coaching parents and training parents on this. FYI, if you're interested in my coaching and parenting kind of stuff, uh, just randomly thought I'd just throw that in there. You can just email me, theaspyworld at gmail.com if you're interested. But when I'm coaching the parents and stuff like that, this is one of the things that they say is most impactive when they're trying to avoid meltdowns from happening from things that are unforeseen. Super interesting. Okay guys, so number two is breathing. I talk about this all the time. Now, breathing technique, the five, five, five method is that you breathe in for five, you hold your breath for five, and you breathe out for five seconds and you do that five times. What this does is it absolutely instantly calms you down by pushing oxygen slowly around your body and it calms you down if you're about to kind of have a meltdown or if you're feeling kind of like oh I don't feel good this is not going to go well you calm yourself down and you start again and keep calming yourself down and start again. Super super important and I think that this is one of the things that people miss out when people say breathing, like, oh, breathe, breathe. But you want to know how to breathe. You know, you don't just say, oh, just breathe. You want to know how to breathe. The five, five, five method. So always remember five times for in for five, hold for five, out for five. Do that five times. You'll win every single time. It's amazing. You do it right now. You pause this video and do the breathing technique now. You'll even calm yourself down and you didn't even know that you were stressed. Okay, guys. Number three is Brillia. Brillia is absolutely amazing. And thank you for sponsoring this video, Brillia. You guys are lovely. Um, this is a homeopathic medication that is non-prescription. So it's kind of cool. You can pretty much get it online, which I'll leave a link for in the description down below where you can get 15% off. Now, consult with your doctor before taking any kind of medicine. Look, I'm not a physician, so definitely check with your doctor. But I use Brillia because there's no nasties in it. It's homeopathic. It relieves anxiety, restlessness, irritability, and impulsivity, which are some of the major cocktails there for autism and ADHD. People who 
then have meltdowns because of these things. Now, Brillia is amazing. It's this little kind of like tab uh, that you, a uh, little pill that you pull out, you pop in your tongue and it dissolves. I take two, three to four of these a day and it does take about two to three weeks for this stuff to get into your system so you really feel the benefit of it. But this definitely helps take the edge off a lot of the anxiety which then leads on to a meltdown. So Brillia are amazing. Please check them out for a discount down below. Obviously, it's up to you. I believe it is, works for me really, really well but it's down to you uh, if you want to try it. They also have a kids version so definitely check that out. If you're looking for your kid and um, yeah you can get it online with this 15% discount that I'm giving to you because I love you okay guys so here is the bonus tip situational removal when you are in a situation where you're thinking hey I'm gonna melt down here or hey my kids gonna melt down here this is a meltdown pending right meltdown loading what you need to do is get that person or yourself and remove yourself from that situation as quickly as possible so if you're in a department store and something's happened or a grocery store or a supermarket, whatever, and you're about to melt down uh, and you feel it or you see your kids about to melt down, instantly take them out and change the environment. As soon as you change the environment, it resets their ability to function uh, in that world where, oh, I'm functioning here now in this situation and it's not going right. But then when you move into a different situation, you have to recalibrate themselves in that situation, which then gives them a chance to relax, calm down and go to it with a different approach. This is highly, highly valuable for people on the autism spectrum. Uh, it, this is super awesome and it'll definitely help you with avoiding autism meltdowns. So now, if you want to support me, you can do over at patreon.com forward slash the Aspie world. Super awesome, exclusive stuff, amazing courses, all kinds of stuff. It's juicy. Go check it out. I won't bore you now. And I'll leave a link on the screen and the description for you. Okay, let's move on with the video. You're welcome, guys. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it on social media if you think this can help somebody. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.